Yeah, one final video for today. Um, it's to do with singing whilst you play. I think it helps to reinforce a lot of good habits, um, good timing, um, some pitch awareness, but most of all, um, sort of multitasking, which is a very important thing when you play a musical instrument. So I've got some music in front of me here on the stand. Um, I'm using B flats and A flats, but it doesn't really matter what you use. If you use um, sharps and flat, sharp and flat notes, obviously, that gives you an extra syllable, so it maybe is a bit more rhythmic, but it, you could do it with diatonic notes. It doesn't really matter. So here we go. Here's my example of what I would ask pupils to do. Count them in, of course. Two, three, four. B flat, B flat, B flat, rest. A flat, A flat, A flat, rest. B flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, rest. A flat, rest. It's especially useful doing that when kids or uh, pupils are playing along to backing tracks. That could be really helpful to develop an awareness. Um, the pitch isn't really the thing though. You don't need to worry about the pitch. The rhythm is more important. Pitch will come over time and you'll be surprised how that quickly that develops if you encourage it. Um, and it's a really useful sort of oral tool, oral training tool that you're sort of just having the kids do without them really knowing. So don't tell them. Anyway, um, here's another tune. It's a three note tune. I've added a G flat. So maybe if you were doing recorder or playing um, from a note from a, um, a piano tutor book or another type of tune percussion but you might use the diatonic notes it would be B's A, B A's and G's just like you learn a recorder but here with the book I'm using it's G flats again the flat gives it an extra rhythmic sort of um sound so here's this beat two three four G flat G flat G flat G flat G flat A flat B flat G flat G flat G flat G flat B flat A flat G flat and that piece had a few minims in as well, so you can hear there's some duration there. I didn't leave a space for a rest. And it goes on and on. I mean, I'll, I'll move on up to a page where there's a range of five notes. Let's see if you can uh, sing along with me if you want. It's B flat to E flat, so it's in E flat major. B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, G, 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 F. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. Trying to get to the notes that don't have um, sharps or flats, I just sing one syllable. Um, it's an, again, it's an ear training tool. It's kind of useful if you just ask kids to do it. They're fine with doing that. And I suggest if you're a pupil watching this, you, you try that um, as an idea at this time. Another thing as well, do the same with your drumming. Um, there's, there are some very common um, systems of counting notes if you're a beginner maybe your drum teacher uses um, food names or animals or or anything you could use your own name for instance um, i used a system called um, alligator monkey elephant fish so it's um, semi quavers and quavers and crotchets alligator alligator semi quavers elephant elephant two semi quavers and a quaver monkey for a pair of quavers and a fish for a, a crotchet some teachers use tea tea coffee coffee lemonade lemonade um you could if you use or refer to the notes using the um, english sort of system just use semi quavers for semi quavers and quavers for quavers so you could go semi quaver quaver semi quaver quaver but the important thing is that you you kind of are consistent and get them to do it in every lesson and it really really helps anyway bye for now